David and Jamie, both the family and police are crediting community tips for helping them locate the stolen trucks as well as that trailer bed. The family says they're incredibly grateful for all of the help that has poured in. People have been stepping forward, offering the family food, clothing for their four children and even a place to stay. I've gone through every single possible scenario of how I could have protected my family better. Bo Parch's two trucks and trailer looked like this before, packed with all of their life's belongings. I can't tell you how many what ifs, what if I did this differently, what if I un disconnected my battery to make them a few seconds delay to steal my truck. What I have got out there in time. Today, the 25 year old dad was reunited with his truck, which is now trashed, scratched, and damaged. When we got there, the doors, locks were punched out, the ignition was broke off, and I tried to start the vehicle, and you could sneeze on it and it would start. That's how easy that truck was to take. Bo, his wife Janet, and four children ranging in age from one to seven years old just moved to the South Sound last week. Bo is in the U.S. Coast Guard and relocated from Michigan. His mother and father-in-law joined them for the new adventure. They sold everything they had to come up here and help take care of the kids so my wife could get back into the workforce. And everything that they worked hard for over their life is also gone. Tacoma police say the vehicles and trailer were stolen Saturday night on Hosmer Street at the Best Western Plus Hotel. Detectives say community tips came pouring in after our first story aired on Sunday, helping them find the stolen vehicles. We don't just come upon the bad guy as police officers generally. We come upon the bad guys because good community members are vigilant, they're aware, and they know what to do when it comes to reporting information to get us where we need to be. Bo's truck was found today on the east side of Tacoma and the other vehicle and trailer were found on Monday at the port of Tacoma. Thank you to everyone that came, uh, searched and spent their own money, their own gas money, putting miles on their vehicle, going to places no one should have to go to look for my vehicles, my belongings and my in-law stuff. The family says they recovered a couple family albums passed down from their grandmothers and the urn containing Janet's grandfather's ashes. But really, everything else is gone. I'm missing still a 22 long revolver. Uh, that was a family heirloom passed down. It was as well as my daughter's first birthday presents. I know we'll never get those back. Um, I just hope they went to a family that needed them more than us, I guess. Tacoma police say that there are no arrests and this investigation is ongoing. The family says the worst part of all of this are those keepsakes and valuables they'll never be able to replace. The family is moving into a new home here in a couple weeks and Bo says after this experience, you'll be sure that he'll be investing in surveillance cameras and security for his property. In Tacoma, Jennifer Lee, Fox 13 News. Jen, thank